what's going on you what's going on you guys my name is Cameron welcome back to the C's for class I want to say I'm really sorry this video is coming out way late I usually upload every Saturday but I missed it <sighs> for an unfortunate reason but good things come out of tragedy because this the reason why it's delayed is because of well this story time is going to explain it so let's get into it you guys <laughs> So as you guys know, it's fall. A lot of colleges are having their homecoming, their homecoming weekend, fall party, whatever you want to call it. So this weekend, last weekend, was my fall party. And it was wild. So this happened Saturday, which was two days ago. And I was, um, I have, I'm in a show on campus. So we were doing, um, I'm in a show on campus called Cabaret. It was a musical. We were performing it. And I did that, went great. My friends came out, they gave me flowers, a card. I really loved it, I enjoyed it. Then we went to a dinner party afterwards and had a good time. Now keep in mind, I didn't eat much. I didn't eat much, so things weren't, you know, I didn't eat much. So I had like, like, like some tortilla chips on my stomach. After that, we decided to um, go to a friend's dorm and I had some beverages that I'm not gonna specify for reasons. I had some beverages. Um, I had about eight or nine of these beverages within 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Bad decisions. Live my best life, right? Things happened. Things happened. So after that, um, after me and my friends had our beverages or whatever, we went out to party. We went to a party. I was having fun at first, but then I wasn't feeling too well. I was feeling a little nauseous. So I was like, no. Oh, maybe I should probably go home. I'm gonna go home. So I'm stumbling. I'm holding on to cars and stuff. I'm not, I'm like, I'm not, my people are seeing me on the sidewalk. And they're like, hey, are you good? Like, what's going on? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I get to my house. Now, I have a theme house on campus, which I've said before, Q&A house, which equals queer and ally and um, also question and answer. So I got there and some of my housemates were in the living room and they were, um, you know, drinking water, talking. They were in their right mindset, unlike me. Now I was, um, I came in, I was like, hey guys, how you doing? Um, I fell down like twice, made it stumble to the bathroom. I used the bathroom. Then I came back into the living room. My friend was like, hey, you should sit down. And she gave me some water. So. Also, I'm gonna be, um, also, I don't exactly remember everything that happened that night, so I have to, like, go off what was told to me from other individuals who saw my behavior that night. She would just give me water. I, like, chugged, like, three huge mugs of water, which will, was an unfortunate mistake. So I was talking to them. We were having a good time. I started sending out some random text messages. I also tweeted some random stuff, so if you were on Twitter and you followed me and you saw the random things I tweeted, you... You could probably understand what my, my state of mind was at that time. Water, um, I don't remember this part, but apparently um, I left out the house and I was trying to make it to this thing that's called Late Night, which is um, a fraternity on campus. They hold parties at, start at 12 and they go until 2 a.m. And like, it's where everybody goes after everything else is shut down. And I was trying to make it there. Unfortunately, I was not in my right mind, so I could not make it there. I just walked around in circles for a few, for a little bit, and then came back in the house and was like, I can't make it, I can't make it. So then I fell down. I fell down and my friend was like, oh yeah, you know, it's time for you to go to bed. So I was like, sure, sure, yeah, you're right. I need to go to bed. So my room's on the third floor, so that's three flights of steps. So I was not able to walk up the steps, so I crawled all up to the entire three flights. My friend opened the door, put me in my bed, and I lay down, and that is where the night ended. That's where the night ended for me, because that's the last thing I remember. I remember being put in my bed and going to sleep, but that was not it. I woke up the next morning, and I woke up in my roommate's bed, my roommate was downstairs. Um, so I was like, what's going on? Like, why am I in my roommate's bed? Like, why is my room destroyed? Also, um, my room was trashed. I like broke some, some stuff was broken. My camera tripod was broken. I had to order a new one that came in today. Yeah, it was like $11. And yeah, so I was like, it broke. So I was like, what's going on? So I'm like, I'm running a shower. I'm about to take a shower. And my friend next door, we're gonna call her, um, well, she's gonna shout her out. So. Hey Campbell, my friend Campbell. She lives next door. 
So then I'm like, hey, Campbell, what's going on? And she's like, I was like, what happened to my room? And she's like, you don't remember last night? And I was like, no. So here's where things take an unfortunate turn. According to Campbell, um, I um, I got up out of my bed after my after my friend put me to sleep. I got out of my bed and um, I stripped down naked and I peed on the floor. You need to get a life with your pissy ass. I am disgusted. I peed on the floor. I urinated on the floor. I pissed on the floor. I peed on the floor. I peed on the floor. Yeah. I peed on the floor, and my roommate had come back at this time, so I guess after that, he, um, he was floor. And my roommate, um, my room, the crazy thing is when all this whole episode happened, which I don't remember, because I was blackout, gone, my friend said I was not speaking. I was not speaking, I was not talking, I was silent, all this happening. And they said that I looked like I was possessed. So my roommate said that um, I got up, um, I guess I tried to find the bathroom. I thought our closet was the bathroom. So I was like in front of the clothes, trying to move them, trying to like Narnia my way through to get to the bathroom. Did not find the bathroom. So I peed my bed and then I took off my clothes and I peed on the floor. And then at that point my roommate was like, I'm going downstairs because I can't do this. So he went downstairs. I guess I went back to bed. There's a lot of blurry spots. And then at 2 a.m., I naked, I went to my friend Campbell's room next door, and I thought it was my room. So I started crawling on the floor and trying to crawl into her bed. What's going on? Y'all are going to jail! Period! Because I thought it was my bed. And it was not my bed. And I was butt naked. Naked. So she um, put me back in my bed. That was that. Then they said that at 5 a.m. they checked in the room and they could not find me. They thought I was missing, they thought I was in a ditch, they thought I was dead, they thought I was gone, they thought I was, you know, thought a bitch was gone. But currently find out I had went into my roommate's bed and curled up and stayed there. And that's where the night ended for me. Um, I said a lot of, I, <laughs> I kept calling myself the Supreme. Um, the title of the video, I was saying, I'm not gonna throw up, I'm a bad bitch. Which is something I like to say a lot. Because, you know, you got to put out in the atmosphere. When she told me this the next morning. I was like, you're lying. Like, that didn't happen. Like, that that did not happen. Like, that did not go down like that. Like, what are you talking about? That didn't happen. Your lies. You didn't. No. No. And she was like, yeah. Yeah, you did. So I'm looking around my room in the next morning. I'm like, what happened? Like, why is my room like this? Why? What's going on? So I'm picking up stuff, I'm like, wow, my stuff is broken, my stuff isn't right, my tr camera tripod's broken, my stuff is askew, and then I step on this spot on the floor, and I'm like, why is this spot wet? And I keep stepping on it. And I bend down, sniff it, sure enough, that's a pee spot. They also said that I peed in the closet, which did not happen. I was afraid because I have clothes in my closet, so I'm like, did I, did I pee on my clothes? Did I pee on my roommate's clothes? Like, that's really not okay. I got some carpet cleaner and some shout, and I started spraying the floor. Spraying the floor, spraying the floor, spraying the floor. To get the stains out, because it was nasty. Um, I threw everything that I broke out. I ordered a new camera tripod, which I already ordered because it broke. I realized it had broken before that. It was broken, but I broke it further that night. Um, I um, texted my friend some weird stuff, talking about I was the supreme, and when one someone rises, the other one dies. I'm the Supreme, I guess. And as my friend said, Supremes don't pee on the floor. Aww. So after that, I felt bad. I had a show to do, because we, no, we had to do a matinee show. So I was, head was pounding. So my head was, I had a headache. I had a headache. So um, I threw everything away. I went to work as a receptionist on campus. After work, I went to the show. My head was pounding a little bit because of the headache. So after the headache, um, I performed. That was that. I sent a text message to my roommate apologizing, feeling bad about everything. I made his bed. I cleaned up the entire room. I fixed everything, and I felt bad about that. And it was just awful. And there was no videos. No one took any videos of me. Nobody like posted it online. Like Nobody did any of that, which is 
beautiful because that would have been ugly. But it got worse. Well, not worse, but at the end of the night, I came to my room to like do some reading and get ready for the next day and do homework. And I'm sitting on my bed and I'm like, what's that smell? And that's when I found that I peed on my bed. And um, I took all my, I took my, I peed, the pee seeped through the sheets, the blanket, the pillow, and the mattress cushion. So I washed everything. I washed it all. And that was the end of my night. So what I've gathered from this is never to do that again. Never to do that again because that is extremely irresponsible, nasty. I'm just glad and lucky that I was around people that love me and know me and want me to be safe because anything could have happened to me. Like I could have died or I could have got beat up or taken advantage of. And I'm just really glad that that did not happen. So that is the reason why I did not upload any videos on Saturday because I was in, I was having a moment for a couple of hours. And surprisingly, I did not have the worst night out of all my friends. Cause all my friends, we were, we were all um, having episodes after the beverages that went out. Mm. So with that being said, you guys, this is my story time. I'm gonna hit you guys with some more videos because of the lateness, I'm gonna get you guys like more videos Follow me on social media. Share me on social media, you guys. I'm trying to build this channel. I'm really trying to build this channel. So, like, share me on social media. I would really, 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 really appreciate it. And I love you guys. And I hope you enjoy. Mwah.